What is going on guys? Wiser here coming to you with a recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, this was a random matchup, a uh, midweek matchup against the one, the only war whales. Yes, the fine ladies and gentlemen over there. Um, always a pleasure matching these guys. We did have, I believe, a two, you know what, I got to check again. I kind of went over all my stuff last night, but 106, 104, victory 2, 2.0. which was just kind of a crazy war. Um, I think it's actually... Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, sort of what I feel that where the state of the game is right now. I think this war is a really good example. Obviously, two very, very good clans. Uh, I mean, War Whales, one of the, one of the best clans in the world. Um, absolutely. I mean, these guys know what they're doing. Uh, anyone who's watching this channel should know who they are. Uh, if they don't, for some odd reason, obviously check out Snip Attacks. Um, that's our YouTube channel. He does uh, some awesome videos. He did their side of the recap already. I believe it went live today. Um, anyhow, so kind of what I was talking about, um, we did have two, two extra town hall, uh, 11s. So that's a pretty big advantage, especially a war in this caliber. Um, now I cannot say with any good morality <laughs> whatsoever that we should have won this war by any means. Our town hall nines sucked. It was actually one of our worst town hall nine performances in a long, long time. Um, obviously, you know, going up against uh, War Whales bases, uh, they are one of those clans that is definitely on the ahead of the curve um, when it concerns the meta. And, you know, their base building reflects it. It really, really, they really defend well against the Stone Hobos and, uh, you know, the Stone Bow Lalos. Um, the, so, you know, those conventional attacks aren't as successful against uh, guys that have bases like that. So hats off. If the Town Hall 9 base build is over at War Whales. You guys uh, really did a good job. We really struggled on the Town Hall 9s. Uh, I believe we had to use like eight, eight plus bullies, something like that. Um, so yeah, really not a good job. Now, you know, Clash of Clans, when that happens, when you have to use that many bullies and your Town Hall 10s are left crippled because you're using like 10, eight, 10 attacks on, on cleaning up the 9s, well, um, you know, let's just go on over. We'll, we're going to run through what they did at our bases as well as I'm talking here. Um, generally, with that big, when you when you lose a leg like that against uh, against kind of like war whales, there's just no possible way you're going to come back because you just you just cripple yourself too much. You're not going to have enough town hall ten attacks to to be three star town hall tens. And, you know, usually a war of this caliber, you would expect to go down to, you know, maybe the Town Hall 11 triples. Um, now, obviously, look at this. Not the case. Like, war Whales left a lot of 10s on the board. Obviously, clear out the 9s. They, uh, they just smashed our 9s. Definitely, um, definitely hats off. Uh, to the Town Hall 9 group over at War Whales. They, uh, they absolutely uh, came out the gate and we struggled a lot and ended up having to use. Let's just start at the bottom here. I just kind of want to show what we did. One bully, two bullies, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 freaking sad yeah anyhow horrible performance at the town hall mine level for us um luckily for us um the current state of the game that doesn't really help you out that much because it, it's so difficult right now uh, 10 versus 10 when you're dealing in concerns with a pretty much max down all 10. Um, I do notice this insane, I was just talking about this in one of our chats. It's just like an insane spike in difficulty level, I find. Once you get those level 3 infernos and level 4 expos going, um, and you know, you get your, your defenses upgraded. I don't know, it, it's just... It's just there's there's not um, like you said I I, I, I like a challenge I've, I've talked about this before it can't but it's just not rewarding enough for the amount of planning going in um, so what we are finding success with right now is um, doing our best to focus our town hall ten attacks on uh, two star in their town hall elevens obviously and then taking care of any of the town hall tens that have level two infernos and lower or a lot of town hall nine point defenses still you know those newer town hall tens so we were focusing our town hall ten attacks in those spots and it's paying off because uh, it is very difficult um so it's almost like the, it's like a game of bullies right now because it's even difficult for a town hall 11 to three star a max town hall 10. 
Um, as this war dictates, both sides, ton of 11 versus 10 fails. And it, no, no, like, but it's just, you know, like these are two of the best clans there are going against each other. And, the, the you know, the fail rate, it's just, it's just not fun. And guys at that level are going to get burnt out and very frustrated very soon if, uh, if some balancing doesn't take place. And, and I really hope it is. And let's think about the Clash Clans. Um, it's ever changing. It's always evolving, and updates are coming out, and uh, things will change. Who knows? We might get a Christmas update, some balancing things. So who knows? The game will change, but this is how it is for at least us right now. So I'm going to show, um, kind of as the the game is more in a sort of unconventional state, I'm going to show some unconventional attacks. I know Boar Whale does my too much. I think they can sympathize. Um, though I'm going to show a few of these uh, Town Hall tens, two starring these Town Hall elevens, because if you can manage to two-star all their Town Hall 11s using Town Hall 10 attacks, then you have those, the extra um, Grand Warden attacks you're going to be using to three-star their Town Hall 10s, which seems to be where the problem lies right now. And these max Town Hall 10s, um, it's just for a Town Hall 10 to, to come away with the triple, it's, it's I don't know. It, I don't want to say the word impossible because I know it is. Um, but some bases, I don't know, it's pretty damn close to impossible. That's all I'm going to say. Um, but, uh, you know, so if you can manage to just use all your Town Hall 10 attacks to take care of their 11s, and then you use all your bullies on the 10s, well, that's going to give you that step up. So that's that's kind of one of our focuses right now. <clears throat> and as you can see, Tam's going in. That's just sort of bowler funneling job here with the heroes getting everything in like uh you know walk the queen all the way up and boom just has cleared out this entire left 37 percent of the base and sends in a bunch of ox jump spell right to the eagle like just <laughs> perfect pathing with that um the falcs go straight to the eagle straight to the town hall bam down it goes 45 percent. just need a few more percentage points queen is still in there doing work Supposed to take care of that uh, max level inferno. These bases are freaking scary, man. These, these look at that expo. You look like a transformer or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Been hitting more town hall max style elevens with uh, with my ten, and I don't know. They, they scare me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Tab coming away here though. I'm gonna get a little bit. I think another maybe building or two a percentage with this archer, or at least the army camp there. Great job, Tam. Ooh, two percent for the army camp. That's that's nice. Boom. All right, so another different style of bully. This is endless, or sorry, not bully. Uh, step up ten versus eleven is uh, no Valkyries. Going to use healers and bowlers and basically just sort of mass attack spam into this town hall compartment. The reason he's uh, Endless knows he can do this. I think there's only, uh, he realizes there's only one giant bomb here. And really his bowlers are going to be very safe. Nice little free spell goes down. Take care of that uh, max level inferno. It goes down before it can get unfrozen. Everything's going to just jump right on into this core now. It's just sort of an easy pathway into the core. And just needed enough beef to kind of take out enough percentage at the same time. Bringing a few baby drags to get extra percentage on the outside. Bowlers are going to work around. Using that as his tanking so just the baby drag can get in there and start doing work on those archer towers. <clears throat> and as you can see, you already at 41%. Queen's still in there with healers on her, so she's looking good. Has to hit that ability, but she's gonna definitely going to clear the percentage mark he needs here. Another baby drag uh, goes down on the outside. Very nice. little archer there on the outside as well. It's really all about percentage. Finally, that queen goes down. The baby drag goes down. Ba, ba, ba. And these army camps are the last couple percent he's going to get, but not a bad little 62% uh, two-star there. Oh, I think, yeah, 63% uh, two-star there by Endless. And one other thing I did want to show, actually, about this war. I'm going to show you as soon as this is over. Two stars, 64%, another 2% for the army camp. Was that attack really helped clutch the war? We were... Like I said, we were in a very bad position until the very end of this war. <laughs> Check this out. The last 10 minutes of the war, 11 minutes, there was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
Um, eight attacks in the last 10 minutes. I think there was like 25 attacks in the last hour or something like that. Just absolutely crazy. And look at this. One minute, two minute, two minute, three minute, six minute. All of our Town Hall 11s kind of coming in here. We have it start basically with endless the town hall 10 versus 11 needing to this fresh hit on this town hall 11 i believe or maybe it was a zero star actually i, mean, I think that's a rat zero star <laughs> sorry eddie um i think it was i could be wrong <laughs> but endless steps up starts it out with get the two stars on their town hall 11 to put us within I'm trying to think because we won by two so one two three four so to put us within two stars to tie Endless gets us there. QC comes in, gets a nice triple on their number 16. Um, obviously a bully. She's Town Hall 11. Uh, TU uh, gets the extra star on their other Town Hall 11 to tie game. Uh, failed by gun, so that was a heartbreaker on that one, 84%. DI steps up. Boom. Nice triple. It brings a Lilo. I'm actually going to show this attack. Um, but... Uh, and anyway, secured the war for us there, and then uh, Robot's trying to trying to add on to it, and unfortunately could not uh, be successful at the end there. But just a crazy end of the war. I actually was at work for the end of the war, and I didn't even watch it, so I'm really disappointed because it was it was pretty nuts, uh, pretty crazy finish at least. Um, so where was I? I showed two, four, and I had one more. So this is Jacob. So another little. Th I thought this attack was really cool, bringing the the, the baby drag with the healers. 15 baby drags okay so just really recognized all their percentage around the base using the minions using the archers really i mean every baby drag pretty much here i guarantee had a specific spot that jacob had planned out for this <clears throat> so basically the idea that the queen is going to come in here clear out from just above nine o'clock here all the way up to 12 clear out literally all of this stuff here uh, using the king and some baby drags down on this section to basically create a funnel on this side of the base. It's about to hit that king ability. There it goes. Take down the cannon. Take down that archer tower. So perfect. Now we pretty much, I think he uses some baby drags. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, here they go. Um, it waits. He, he really waits here. That's what happens. He is super patient and lets this whole top section basically become empty. And then is going to drop the baby drags from the outside around here. A whole bunch of them. He's still got nine of them. And I believe has three baby drags in his CC that he all drops and basically just sends into the core here and rages it up. That's a little test baby dragon he wanted to see. Um, realized there he locked on right away to the clan castle troops. So down those go. And in they go to the core. So here come the rest. Boom, boom, boom. A loon in there as well. Raid spell is going to go down. He's already got the percentage. There it goes. Down goes the eagle. Down goes the town hall. Kablam, kablam. 54% already. Definitely going to get more. Still has a ton of baby drags doing work here. <clears throat> Finally, the queen goes down there along the outside. Still getting pretty good percentage. I think he gets 60% here. Yeah. And that's all she wrote. Really nice hit, though, Jacob. Or baby Daggins, as uh, as Snips would say, as I found out today. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <clears throat> um, so I am going to show as well because there were so many eleven versus ten fails, um, and it's just crazy, right? I mean, th th it shouldn't be shouldn't be like this, and it is possible, obviously, but. Um, I'm going to show you the ways where our 11s are looking at bullying right now. Uh, so DI brings a little bit of a Lalo here, um, a bull Lalo basically, using the Grand Warden. Uh, but he, he walks the bowlers uh, pretty much up along this side, uh, creates his funnel on the other side, and just sends everything in at these expos. Now there goes that baby drag to take care of the funnel over there. <clears throat> Down goes the GW. Here comes some wall breakers. Things open on up. Goes ahead and drops that king. So all that stuff's going to walk right on into that first air defense there. 
Raid spell goes down. Uh, a hound does come out of the CC, which sometimes poses a problem, but you know the queen under there, under the rage, really rips through that thing very, very quickly. It doesn't do a lot of damage to the uh, the bowlers. Fortunately, that loon is chasing the king, so it's not even getting a shot off either. The bowlers are standing under it, basically being untouched. Getting really good percentage. The whole core of the base now, 40% taken out. So in comes the lava hound, number one. Lava hound number two, nice little haste spell with all these balloons sprinkled in. Didn't even really need, I think the, the free spell almost might, may have hurt him. We might want to his hound to take a little bit more damage there. But all these balloons, there's no way this base damage chance are all cannons down here. One little whiz tower that causes him a bit of threat over there, but that's way too many troops. Nice little distraction loon. Boom, boom, boom. <clears throat> Job, DI. Secures the war for us, luckily. Uh, absolutely, I, I shouldn't say luckily. I mean, our our guys stuck to their plan. Um, we were just fortunate that uh, the war whales uh, had had more conventional, had more fails than than you know, had some unconventional fails. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, you know, we we were definitely expecting them to come out and rock out some uh, some three stars and it's just I don't know it's kind of sad to see where the state of the game is right now um, and I'm not uh, I don't want to sound too negative because again like I said the, the game's ever evolving and I know they know it's not great in a great state right now so I would be surprised if it's it's if it's very much longer before we see another tweak and hopefully they'll eventually get it get it get it to be right I mean um, I don't know. Like I said, I, I, I'm not trying to be too too negative. It just I, I'm also I'm also just being truthful, right? I mean, the game really I think is in a, a very tough state right now, very frustrating state for uh, anyone who is a town hall ten, um, and even a town hall eleven potentially. Because I mean, if you're a max town hall eleven and you're going in on a near max town hall ten, and you you don't it's it's super it, it's super difficult. I mean. I'm not saying it shouldn't be challenging a little bit. You, need, you should need to do some, some plan a little bit. But the success rate just isn't there, in my opinion, right now. It's just, it's it's very, very difficult and very frustrating. And it, uh, it it's really tough on players who put a lot of planning in. That's uh, all I'm trying to say. Uh, but TU here just basically just walks everything in. Nice little jump into that compartment. All the bowlers there under the rage, just smashing everything up. The GW just standing right in the middle of the pack there. Few back end balloons here. TU loves this, <clears throat> right? Everything's getting tanked on this backside. Now this uh, this scary little Tesla farm poses a bit of a threat. Nice little hay spell to get right in on top of that uh, whiz tower as well. Uh, bowler and some minis on this back end and start doing some cleanup over there while well, the GW sort of protects these balloons and come uh, walks on over the Queen's about to burst through and start to walk around this side so believe these balloons get taken down here and yeah, down they go so it's only a matter of time though before the, all this uh, little chunk of units makes their way over there <clears throat> time might have been sort of close on this one but still has that Queen ability is about to hit it Boom, 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 down it goes. See you later, Teslas. Still has to work through another wall. <laughs> and the DE storage. Grand Warden <laughs> saves the day. <laughs> but see what I mean? It's like, I know this attack was a little bit of a spammy attack just with, a, you know, six back-end balloons. But um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm I'm at town all the time, near max, and I think it's sort of frustrating. So, But I'm still new to it. I haven't put a big war focus I've been farming him while I'm warring. I'm, I'm a wiser account with Title Nine, but I'm about to swap and really start focusing on Title Ten. But I can already tell it's it's frustrating. And I mean, even you know, for guys at Title Eleven that have been doing it for a very long time, it shouldn't be that frustrating. I think I think everyone can agree with that statement. Um, okay, so let's get into a little bit of Town Hall Nine action. We did have. A few successes, although our town hall lines were very pathetic. We do have a few different attacks here to show you, though. Um, <clears throat> good old uh, O Kim, he made me. Uh, he really wanted me to to correct this in my next recap. It's pronounced O Kim. Um, goes in with the, this little peck of smash. I like it. He really likes using the baby drags. Um, what what he really does well is breaks down every little spot of defense on the base and just tries to always have 
a certain like every unit unit or group of units he has is is dedicated to to specific parts of the base that he's broken down. Pretty much everything he brings is for a very specific reason. So love watching uh, watching Kim's attacks here. Poison spell down, perfect timing kind of on everything. Uh, blues do get a drop off here, but no big deal. They get one. Oh, maybe not. King jumps in there. Yeah. See, balloons, I don't know, guys. I don't trust balloons in my CC anywhere. There's far too easy. I like dragons, but I won't bring balloons. That's for sure. They're just, they, balloons seem like a waste to me. Um, unless maybe with a hound. That's probably the only time I'd bring a, a balloon. But uh, big value on this entry, right? Uh, these Pekka's in there, smashing things up. Finally, I think this one goes down over here. So King's going to start taking a little bit of damage. But uh, still has these four baby drags he's going to use really well. The Queen's standing under the Rage spell there. So uh, barely gets that uh, ability off, but takes down the defensive Queen. Both of those Expos get taken down. Bam, bam, bam. Just getting good, good value. Just starting to starting to work on these uh, buildings over here, so you can start basically the cleanup from around this section and base. Kim really, um, really on the fly uh, plans his attacks. Right, he he just uh, he thinks of possible outcomes of, of of what his troops could potentially do, and and just reads it out on the fly. And I think that's a huge piece of town online attacking because you need to make. A proper adjustments on the fly to uh, to come away with the three star a lot of the time, <clears throat> but as you can see, just a matter. Of, I don't want to say time again, but it is just a matter of time now with this base because there's really only a handful of defenses with these healers and both these heroes and a handful of baby dragons left flying around the map. Just got to work through the walls here. Actually, shit, I gotta remember to start taking note on the time of the attacks because that's something I don't notice a lot because quite often when I'm going through the attacks I uh, I watch it in times two um, just because obviously in times two I can pretty much get the gist of the of the whole attack um, and I'm going through you know 30 or 40 attacks well not that many but 20 or plus attacks right so I don't know um, a lot of times I don't make note of the time and I have a feeling this one might have been very very close because that has been quite a while they had to beat through that wall but just got to get that Tesla take care of that storage that's the tree in the bag job job oh Kim oh Kim that's what I think of when you say that <laughs> I don't like it all right so limey <clears throat> Bring similar attack, but six Valkyries as well. Instead of the instead of that, uh, I think he what what uh, I think he created six dragons, that, or baby dra drags there. Uh, bring six Valkyries instead. So we're gonna go ahead and create that funnel. Just gonna start walking that queen across. Is it um, what I think Lime spotted here is this defense. Uh, air defense, sorry, is walkable. So he can walk in here, take care of these defenses, and take care of that air defense and the defensive queen all at the same time. So angle the Pekka's, two healers on the Pekka's. It's almost like a variation. I almost feel Lime like you learned this attack from me. Because <laughs> um, it's like a variation of the Veiler. You're using the healers on some Pekka's and... Um, you know, even bringing the six Valkyries in there, like you're just going to get big DPS, right? Big, strong DPS units into the core of the base, smash through everything, get some healers down, keep them healed, get the bowlers on in there, get them doing their thing behind those tanky units and basically gut the base out. He's already at 50%. The queen's about to step up now and back things up. A couple little quick balloons on those te that test there. Almost, I don't know if I would have dropped those loons there. Limey, because uh, your queen was about to kill them anyways. Uh, might have saved them for this back end. I think you were just getting a little antsy because you knew you couldn't drop the balloons over there until that air defense went down. Fortunately, the queen does lock onto this hound, but she's going to chase it around the base as the rest of the units sort of walk around and mop things up. <clears throat> so it at least keeps her moving along with <laughs> with the crowd, even though it's just, just taking her time. So she's about to burst that hound. A couple more balloons go in. Again, might have been a little preemptive on that stuff. I mean... Uh, it's hard to, hard to critique that, but you could have had at least at this point like six balloons, right? When these defenses are getting tanked and just drop them all, and they might have even made their way to that one air defense and destroyed it on their own. But is what it is. Queens do a mop up from behind. Tree stars is imminent. And down she goes. Kablam. Job, Lamy. Right, 
23, Ryan. So although they did have uh, quite a few bases that I believe were very, uh, at least we thought were um, really strong bases against uh, attacks like um, a stone hobo, uh, Ryan found the weakness in this one, that's for sure. Um, really good job as well, uh, using the defenses on the outside to lure the golems away. Queen goes in there, takes care of that defensive queen nice and quickly though. Down she goes. Second golem is in. Third golem's up top doing the tanking over here. Brings extra wizards. I don't know if you saw. He brought like 10 wizards there. Um, so getting pretty good value overall, right, um, on this funnel. And he's basically funneled all the way around the base from about 2 o'clock to 7 o'clock. So good job. Everything's going to smash on in here. Wall breakers open things up. Jump lets everything right into the core. Second jump spell goes down. Basically just opening up the entire base. Queen is in there, bowlers are in there. Obviously, with that gigantic funnel he made, there was no chance whatsoever of uh, anything walking. So, again, the, the core is gutted. Hawks come flying in now from the outside. Nice giant tank there. Just going to take care of all these point defenses a few at a time. Doesn't even need a heal for the Hogs. I believe all the bombs are triggered. Only a few defenses left, really. A couple at the 12 o'clock location here. Tesla, a couple wizards too, helping things out. Really nice attack, Ryan. Tree in the bag. I'm always a fan of when the last building to die is the town hall. I don't know why. I take I take a small personal joy when I have attacks and that happens. <laughs> I don't know. That, that might be weird. That might not be. Maybe it's weird. <laughs> All right. Let's check Valo. <laughs> Going in against number 29. Bringing the bull Lalo. Um, with a walk has to be it's a little, sort of a little unconventional army comp. Uh, four earthquakes as well. So I thought that was kind of interesting for this attack. Um, not really, I don't know. Just just a very, very interesting attack here by Val. He's very, very creative. <clears throat> Lures out that baby drag. He's going to go ahead and yank it over to one side of the base. Let's that queen on in. We're going to go ahead and drop those healers in one second. Down they go. <clears throat> Baby drag goes down just to kind of help start working on this high hit point stuff. Uh, Queen's going to walk on in, end up getting a few point defense on this entry, take care of the rest of the clan castle, and out it comes, and take care of the defensive queen at the same time. Bam, bam, down go those gobbies like nothing. Raid spell goes down, it's going to take care of that beam drag in just a couple shots. Step up, take care of those point defense, and this queen is about to hop out and lock on her. There she goes. So down goes this defensive queen. And out come the rest of these goblins. I was surprised actually when I saw that. I don't, um, uh, I thought his queen was in range actually, but she clearly wasn't. She was standing on the outside, but um, I, I, I forget. I, I wonder what lured actually. I didn't see what lured the initial goblins. <laughs> <clears throat> but anyhow, Earthquake goes down, and I thought it was just such a cool spot to Earthquake. Just I wouldn't have thought of this, but he definitely did this because um, a lot of times your queen won't take the jump spell. Uh, I definitely am always at least afraid to drop a jump and try and make my queen jump into the base, but some people can do it. Uh, but if you can't, Earthquaking is always another option if you don't need all your spells. So the queen's going to step up now, basically finish off the rest of this course. She's going to end up walking on over, I believe, and... Getting that air defense at the same time. Finally, the king goes in, sort of a suicide king, to work on this trash on the 12 o'clock and basically take care of that Tesla up there. It's got the hounds working on that uh, third air defense there. Balloons are everywhere. Haste spell throws everything right on top. Still has a hound tank over there. It does burst to an air mine, but he's got far too many balloons that are right on top of this air defense. Down it goes. Just have to take care of that Tesla, and the Wiz Tower is being tanked by that king, so... Just really, really nice attack there, Val. Just pick this base apart. Love the earthquake for your queen, even though the, she did die to that defensive king on the outside there. So that was a little bit unfortunate, but had so many troops left over. It didn't matter whatsoever. It's tree in the bag. Good job, Val. Um, all right, one more. Three, two. JP. JP switched to his nine for a little bit. Um, bringing the drags here. 
thought this was a really cool attack, recognizing, you know, these very, very exposed air defense. So uh, a lot of the times, if uh, you can bring a little zap quake like JP does, take care of one air D, basically the idea is to walk the queen from three to six, get two air defense on the, on the way, and drop his drags for 12 o'clock and just funnel them in onto this 12 o'clock air defense. So down goes this baby drag. He's just going to do a little bit of work on the outsides here and then basically drop his uh, majority of his drags from 12 o'clock, rage them up, get them right on top of that air defense, and then they work through the rest of his base like nothing really. Other than that archer tower on the entry, the archer tower on the outside, it's all cannons in here and there's like nothing really that's going to um, touch this, uh, touch the drags whatsoever. So goes ahead and drops that king, just working that funnel on the other side for the drags. A little bit of a suicide king there. It's going to work things down and into that Tesla on that side. In comes a Valk to actually help out with the uh, skeletons too. Just one shot them. Just going to rage it up, get things right on and take care of both Teslas there. Pull out that clan castle at the same time. So clan castle is going to work its way on over to the queen now after it takes care of that mini. So that's perfect, and let's go ahead and drop the drags on either side, and in comes a hound for that air defense I just talked about, and the six dragons, they're going to work in, being untouched. It's going to go ahead, and I believe drop a rate spell somewhere, or right over that dirty, maybe not. No, that rate spell's coming. <laughs> but um, Queen, you can see, did her job, right? Uh, the tip of CC poison went down. It's going to work on that air defense there. Now, there is no air defense remaining in the base. There is that rage uh, dragons do get a bit of a split here, at, but it kind of works out. A lot of times you want your dragons to stay in a clump, but a lot of times dragon attacks really uh, rely on the amount of time you have left because uh, they are so slow. So it's not necessarily a bad thing if they split up like this. And uh, as you can see, they're both working on either side of the base. So that's kind of a good thing that they split up. Uh, Loon's in there trying to do a little bit of work. Unfortunately, don't get a lot done. Uh, all they really do is do a little bit of tanking for the uh, dragon there. Dragon's got to work through that clan castle, so that kind of sucks. But they do end up getting through it, and I believe get the expo. Um, the expo does take down one of these dragons, but the other one cleans it up. So down it goes. Another, uh, another baby dragon comes from the outside. Balloon in now on this wizard tower, just doing a little bit of distraction. Taking care of that. Baby dragon's going to finish that off. Down it goes for the tree. Beautiful. Nice job, JP. Great breakdown. All right, so uh, hats off, Warwells. You guys absolutely deserve this win based on how we set it up <laughs> for our tens. But, uh, you know, we stuck to our guns, <laughs> bullied our hearts out, <laughs> and uh, ended up coming away with this one by a couple stars. So, yeah, I uh, do hope we end up uh, getting a chance to meet up on more even terms, do a friendly challenge. Uh, some uh, friendly clan challenge sometime soon. So, um, you know, check out Snips, guys, if you have not. That guy does some great content over there for the War Whales. So, uh, until next time, guys, that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help the bag that next tree start. Until then, I'm out. <laughs>